Hey guys, Crewman here with a pretty quick off the cuff video. So, with POW blocks going through the moon in terms of price, I mean, when I started mining this two days ago and I was way late to the game, it was 30, 32 cents or something along those lines, and now the price has exploded. It's been floating between 90 cents and a dollar basically all day and some of last night. So, I thought, let's go get the dinosaur the very RX 580 and see if we can make it profitable on ETH. You know, we'll time travel back to 2017 and play this game and see if we can be profitable again. Now, I only have one and mine's old, but why not toss it in and see what happens? Because look at this, right? According to hashrate.no, basically everything is profitable at my power rate at 10 cents on XPB or POW blocks. Now, I understand the hash rate has literally gone parabolic. You know, we're pulling CASPA hash rates here. It's basically doubling per day. You know, in October 30th, it wasn't even a petahash. And now we're at, you know, nine petahash. And once this thing is on HiveOS, everybody and their mother and father and sister and second cousin is going to mine it. So I figured, let's go see if these RX 580s are still profitable. So let's head over to my bench and take a look. All right, so this is what I'm getting in the software. Um, you can see I'm getting about 29.81 mega hash at 67 watts. Let me show you my overclock settings real quick. You can see here on my old beat up test bench, these are my overclocks and this is what I'm getting. And so I just want you to compare this and let's go back to what I was getting in the software again, right here. And then I'll show you guys what I'm getting in the wall. Man, I forgot how hard these things were to get going for ETH hash mining. It's like, uh, you know, I never mined with them when I started because I was lucky enough to get um, to get 30 series cards. I never had to get these. Look at how grimy this is. I literally refuse to clean it. It's uh, It was mining ETH for five years, and it's going to always forever be like this. Anyway, uh, I got this set up in my test bench, and it took forever to get it mining the way I wanted. So let me show you the power on the software or on the wall. I got it to about 145 watts. Most sites that I checked said it gets about 140 watts. So let's get back into the calculator. <laughs> uh, like I said, I, I was like working with dinosaur hardware. I, I never mind ETH with these things and I'm just like fumbling around with it. All right, guys, I'll be right back. All right, so now that I showed you what I was getting in the software and what I was getting at the wall, which basically matches what everybody I asked told me, because like for ETH mining, thank you, shout out to Hobbyist Miner and some people in his Discord. I was basically fumbling around like an idiot trying to get these things working because it's been, I've never mined with them on ETH because I've never had to mine with them on ETH because I never owned any. All right, so let's pop it in. We're getting about 29.84 mega hash. We're about 140... I think we're about 143-ish watts at the software at the wall. So let's see if we're profitable. <laughs> not even close. Negative 16 cents. That's not good. I, I actually thought, I didn't mean this is a trolley video. I actually thought it was going to be profitable. I was more curious than anything. Uh, it's kind of annoying because I spent so much time trying to get this thing good. I mean, I was at, I was at 172 watts at one point. Uh, trying to configure this. So what rate would I be profitable? Let's go down to eight cents. Am I profitable at eight cents? Uh, I'm only losing nine cents. All right, so let's go to, I don't know, six cents? Minus two, cheese, minus two cents. All right, so let's go to five cents, which is basically, uh, you know, ASIC mining facility hash rate. All right, so two cents, I am profitable. That's that's cool. Uh, let's just see. Let's just assume that I'm not a pleb and I can get 31 mega hash on this thing. And let's go back to 10 cents. So if I go back there, I'm still negative 15 cents. It doesn't matter. So you basically need to be at like five cents to have these things profitable. So I can confidently say the RX 580 is well and truly dead. <laughs> I mean, it, it's time to put these things out to pasture. Let's actually go hashrate.no and just see if there's anything profitable on an RX 580 at 10 cents kilowatt hours. Dynax is a negative 6 cents loss and that's the best one. Ergo is 7. Kind of surprised Ergo is 7 actually. Erythrium is 9. Alethium is 10. Uh, and everything else just gets worse from there. 
Well, I mean, it was worth a try. You know, I'm. you guys can't say I just hate the RX 580s all the time. I at least tried. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, it was off the cuff. Uh, you know, I tried. I answered your you know, I answered your questions. Don't put this thing on POW blocks because they're not profitable. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Please like and sub. Crew man out.